Hi guys. So today we're going to do our reading lesson. We're going to do an item of sloths in your scholastic news. Um, so like I say, either you listen to the vocabulary first before listening to your read aloud, or you can first listen to it and then come back. It's all up to you, but I'd rather you um, listen to these vocabulary, pause the video and go into your article and then listen to that and then come back to the video so let's go over our vocabulary so we have the word three-toed it's a three-toed sloth uh, so the word three-toed means he has three toes we have the word extinct that means it doesn't exist anymore so there are a lot of animals that are extinct here are some examples that's one example um, these are a few more examples of animals that are extinct. Closer. Okay, the next vocabulary word that comes up a lot in the article is the word mangroves. These are small trees or shrubs. So in the article, this is an important word because this is the main habitat, the main place where the, the three-toed, um, the Pygmy sloths are located. That's where they live mostly. So I'm going to give you an example, a picture of those mangrove, of the mangroves. These are the different mangroves. See, there's a lot of water around them. They're they're lower to the earth, so that's why they're kind of like shrubs. Um, we have another word that they use in the article, and it is tracking devices. So these are electronics that tell where something or someone is located. Here's an example. So these can be different tracking devices. So these are scientists are putting, are, are placing them in the slots so they can track them, so they can see where they go or how many of them there are, still exist. Um, mainland, so you're gonna hear the word mainland. So here's an example of mainland. Mainland Australia, mainland China. Okay, so now that you have the vocabulary words, um, you can go ahead and listen to the video. Um, now we're gonna go over our close reading questions. So I'm gonna go into the presentation. Okay, so our three questions after you read the article, our close reading questions are, maybe you can come closer. One, what is the pygmy three-toed sloth's habitat? How is it being destroyed? Two-part question. So first, remember, we're gonna turn the question around. What is the pygmy three-toed sloth's habitat? So the sloth's habitat is where are they? Where are they located? Where can we find that in the text? So if you look at your text, you have those big subheadings. But look at this one, an island of sloths. Wouldn't that give you a clue as to what the habitat is or where the habitat is, where they live? So if we read the first passage, you'll see that they say that an island near Panama, a country in Central America, they have identified a new species of sloth so and that's part of it so we know that it's that it's an island near panama but further down we can see the next part of the question which is how is it being destroyed how are how, how are they being destroyed how is their habitat being destroyed so if you look further down it says that people are destroying because of so much fishing and chopping down trees dying out so the uh, the sloths live on an island called escudo veraguas the creatures mostly hang out in mangroves so that's giving us a habitat these small trees grow along the island swampy edges but people are destroying key word remember find your key words destroyed there it is, destroying. So that should give you a clue as to where the answer will be. So the answer for the second part is people 
are destroying the sloth's habitat. More and more people from mainland Panama have been going to the island to fish. So you're going to word that in your own words. You're, I want you to practice paraphrasing. Okay? So I would say people are destroying it because of so much fishing and chopping down the, the mangroves. So I did not write that word for word. I took that information and I put it in my own words, okay? So I want you to practice that. So let's look at number two. What are scientists doing to try to help the pygmy sloths? So where do you think we can find that word and what, what clue, what words can we use that we can find in the text? So we have the word scientist, right? So what subheading do you think that would be under? An island of sloths, dying out, saving sloths. Hmm, saving sloths, that sounds like it's helping, right? But if you look a little before that subheading, we have this these couple of paragraphs where they say, still there is hope. Some scientists, there's our key word, think that there may be sloths on the island. These animals may live in the center of the island too. To find out, scientists put tracking devices on some of them to see where they go. A few sloths left the mangroves and headed into the island's thick forest. That means the population could be larger than anyone thought and the sloths could be in danger. Let's keep reading. Saving sloths. But whether there are 100 pygmy sloths or 1,000, these creatures could be helping, could use a helping hand. Scientists are teaching Panama's fishermen why destroying trees is bad for pygmy sloths. Over time, they hope to uncover more facts about the sloths. So how can you paraphrase that? Well, I wrote in my own words that scientists are tracking some of the sloths to see where they go. They want to find out how many there are and where they go. Um, I also would write that scientists are teaching people to about their fishing and about cutting down the mangrove trees because sloths need these trees. So that's one way of paraphrasing, but of course you can reread and write it in your own words, okay? So let's look at number three. Number three says, how does the map on page two help you understand the article? Give details about what it shows. So let's look at, let's look at the map. Well, to start off, what do you think it shows you? What are we talking about? So if you thought about the habitat and that it's showing you a picture of the island and the countries that border Panama, you are correct. That's what it's showing you. So it's telling you this is Escudo de Veraguas. That's the same place that the article talked about at the beginning. That's where their habitat is located. So we also have the different borders, right? And that little speck, that little speck is where they're located, where they found these slots, these special slots. So this map is, is the key to knowing where the, where this Escudo de Veraguas is. Okay, guys, so I want to extend this lesson as always. You know I got extended. So I want to I want you to use your researching skills. Remember, when we research, we're using keywords to find certain information. We we want to ask the right questions so we can get the right answers or the answers that we want to know about. So I want you to research a little bit. You can even use the, the, the article if you'd like to answer this question, right? But I want you to write a small paragraph, at least four sentences, four to five sentences. If you want to write more, kudos to you. So the question is, what would you tell people about pygmy slots? Remember to research. So I wrote, I would tell people that pygmy sloths are a newly found species of sloths. They are smaller in size and have three toes. That's why they should be protected. So 
you can use some of my information, but my information, I found it online. I actually found it in this magazine, in this article. Um, if you, if you go back, you can find some videos about it and you can learn some more about it. Sorry about my dog. So, um, after you write your, your paragraph, you can take a picture. Like I always say, you can either send it to my email address or you can, you can send it through Dojo if you'd like. All right. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I can't wait to know what you guys wrote about. So that's it guys till next time see you later